Hello again. Now I am introducing the biggest innovation of the new version, Bill of Materials. The BOM has moved to a cloud-based platform, which will allow it to offer new features in the future and guarantee faster and easier handling of problems and support for operating systems. Let us start by generating a new BOM. The composition and presentation of the generated BOM looks similar to the previous version of the BOM. You will immediately notice the change in the entire environment and tools, as well as the updated design. In addition, the bomb can now be displayed in Parts Only and Material Summary sections. Parts Only mode shows the full composition of the product. However, it is no longer presented structurally, but in a form of the flat list. Meanwhile, the Material Summary provides a summary of the materials and their quantities needed to produce the product. Each tab allows you to set the columns you want to display. These columns are based on the keywords used to retrieve the information. For example, to see the type of a component, we can enter the keyword, item type, and the system will automatically display the information requested. Keywords have their explanations. To change the order of the columns in the BOM, simply move the value from one place to another. Each BOM has a container for additional information that is required and has to be visible in the specification. For example, date of the order, customer information, and other information needed to form an accurate BOM. The BOM header data function allows you to fill the information containers with existing or individually added fields and output them to a report using the keywords. Clicking on the BOM properties button takes you to the header environment with structured fields. By clicking the Add Property button, you can add an individual field with the desired text and keyword. By entering a value in the Entry field and using the adjacent keyword in the report, you will be able to see the entry record in the BOM report. By ticking the asterisk symbol, you can add the most frequently used header fields to their setup for a quick access from the BOM window. When the lock is ticked, the entered value is locked and cannot be overwritten. This can be useful when the user has entered his or her data, for example, initials, phone number, email address, and so on, and does not want to repeat it each time for a newly generated BOM. Once all the information is entered, it can be exported to a report. Clicking Open New Template will open the Template Manager with several different tabs. System, System Templates Managed by Our Team. Personal, Personal Templates You Can Use for Your Reports. 
The number of templates depends on the type of JoinerCAD license you have. Company Only visible to users of the same company if more than one JoinerCAD Pro workstation is purchased. Google The possibility to use BOM templates in spreadsheet format. This option is only visible to paid JoinerCAD Pro users. Return to the System tab and select the standard BOM metric template. Clicking the Export button generates a report that is automatically downloaded to the user computer. Let us open it. As you see, the BOM report is similar to the one used in previous versions of JoinerCAD. Therefore, the former templates will be supported and can be used in the future. To learn how to create BOM templates, see our older videos on our YouTube channel. One of the new features of the paid version of JoinerCAD is Custom Tabs. This tool allows you to make informational cross-sections of the generated BOM. That is, the possibility to filter and see only the relevant entries in the BOM. For example, to see the purchased items only or materials from only one manufacturer available in a certain length, width, and so on. Clicking on the plus button will call the dialog for creating a new custom tab. When selecting the specification type and entering a name, a new custom BOM will be displayed. It allows you to create filters and filter out specific entries. Filters are created by calling the filter dialog. After entering the filter name and the keyword item type that you already saw before, it is set to filter only those records that are purchased. The filters have a few search criteria to choose from. The filtered BOM is obtained. Every time the filter is switched on or off, the displayed tree changes. Good luck!